Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that uh, I told y'all several videos ago that I was looking at getting a new camera, something that would be functional enough to actually allow me to do live streams off of it. Well, I've got the camera. So at some point here, I just got it today, and I'm not familiar with it yet, and I'll have to learn everything about it. But at some point, probably be sometime next month, I am going to try to do a live video uh, like I told you I'd do when I got a new camera. So that's one thing. I've got another announcement I'll make, probably in a video or two, that's a pretty big deal. So it'll be kind of a neat thing, too. So today, what we're going to do is cut a logo sign for a local woodworker. He's out of Ada, Oklahoma. His name's Brad Phelps, <clears throat> and it's Phelps Custom Crafts. And I, of course, will leave links to this guy. This is one of those people that oh, you should really check him out. He, he doesn't do YouTube. I'm trying to keep him to do it. Some of the stuff he turns out is phenomenal. I mean, and I say some of it, 99% of it. He does cornhole boards, he does American flags. I almost want to say I saw him doing some furniture. I'm, I'm, don't give me the line, but I mean, he's got a Facebook page. Like I said, I'll link it in there so y'all can go check out his stuff. But his stuff is amazing looking when it's done. He really puts in the time on the finished work. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna cut his logo, so let's go.
So guys, there it was. It came out, I'm gonna go with pretty good on this one for this reason. I mean, it looks awesome, but I learned on there that I used the wrong bit when I did use my V bit. And I'll get way in here and you can see some chipping in the wood. That's usually indicative of having a dual bit. Well, I knew I had one dual bit, one newer bit that was good. I grabbed the wrong one. So it looks, I mean, from the distance, you'll never notice it. And even if you really started to study it, you wouldn't notice it. But I will give this guy the option and I will cut him a new one because I'll go get a new bit and do it right. Because I do not like putting stuff out that has little blemishes like this in it. So, like I said before, Brad is a heck of a woodworker. It is not his full-time job, but I think he could make it that way because his stuff is immaculate when it comes out of his shop. And so go check out his Facebook page. I'll leave a link down below to it and go see what he's got going on. So, like I said, I'm going to try to do a live stream. I don't know when I'm going to do it exactly, but uh, when I do get to doing that, I will probably let y'all know a week or two in advance, uh, well, at least a week, but I'm going to try to do it two weeks in advance. Just try to set me a date. That way I am have to do it. There's going to be some issues with it right off the bat. I can already tell you, I'm not going to be able to do it from out here in the shop. My shop is far enough away from my house that even with my Wi-Fi boosters, I can't get my Wi-Fi out here and I've got a router and I've got already got a big booster and I mean I guess I could get a second booster but I really I would have to put it in our storage shed and I don't have any place to plug it in <laughs> I mean I don't I don't know how I'd make that work I'm gonna work on it and hopefully I can figure out how to get out there by the machine and do live videos from there so I can answer questions that are about it but the first one more than likely will be from upstairs in our workroom upstairs and that's just the way that's going to have to go. So guys, that's it for this one. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.